Today's learning intention is applying the rules of logarithms. So essential skills are working with powers and indices. Solving equations. Okay, so we're going to apply the rules of logarithms and then solve equations with them. Um, and you have to know how to apply the rules of logs. So remember there are three rules of logarithms. And these laws are used to simplify expressions and to solve logarithmic equations. So again, as a recap, rule 1, log x to the base a plus log y to the base a equals log xy to the base a. We've got rule 2, log x to the base a minus log y to the base a equals log x divided by y to the base a. And rule 3, Again, log x to the power n to the base a equals n times log x to the base a. So you bring down the power and that becomes the multiplier at the front. So we're going to have to use these rules to simplify and then solve equations. <clears throat> so let's try and solve log equations. So here's two examples. You've got these in your notes. Remember the little note taker icon tells me you're going to have to fill it in as I'm explaining what to do. So example one. Find x if, and we have this equation, log equation, we've got 4 times log 6 to the base x minus 2 times log 4 to the base x equals 1. So you have to solve this and find out what the base is, what x is. So remember your rows of logs and simplify. So first of all, what can we do? Okay, well from rule 3, the 4 can go up and become a power. And that make, gives us log 6 to the power 4 to the base x. You then put the 2 up to become a power. And that gives you minus log 4 squared to the base x equals 1. Now I've got an equation with two log terms I'm trying to subtract. So I can look at rule 2. And I can simplify that. So that becomes log of 6 to the power 4 divided by 4 squared to the base x equals 1. Simplifying that, it's going to give me log 81 to the base x equals 1. So in my head, I'm now saying, what number to the power 1 equals 81? x must be 81 then. Okay, because 81 to the power 1 equals 81. And that's me done. Now these look complicated, but you take step by step, apply your rules of logs. They then become really easy. So let's try example 2. Example 2 says solve for x and we have the equation 2 times log 3 to the base a plus log x to the base a equals log 36 to the base a. It says solve for x. What's this missing value x? So again, just simplify using your rules of logs. So that 2 times, the 2 comes up and becomes a power. So I've got log 3 squared to the base a plus log x to the base a equals log 36 to the base a. So the only thing that changed was I brought the 2 up to become a power. Now the rule two, rule 1, sorry, I'm taking my 3 squared as 9 and my x to give me 9x. So 3 squared times x is 9x. So I've got log of 9x to the base a equals log 36 to the base a. Now because there's logs on both sides and they're the same base, we can just cancel them off. So we score them off. We've now got 9 times x is 36. 9 times what is 36? 9 times 4 is 36. So x equals 4. <coughs> right, example 3 then. Okay. Find x if, and we have the equation, 2 times log x minus 4 to the base 3 equals log 4 to the base 3. I want to know what x is, this missing number x. So applying your rules of logs. So the multiply by 2 comes up to become a power. So I've got log x minus 4 squared to the base 3 equals log 4 to the base 3. I can score off my logs. If it's the same log on both sides, the score off. So I've got x minus 4 squared equals 4. How do I solve that for x? So I'm going to have to square out the brackets. <coughs> so they bring the minus 4 equal to 0. 
Square out the brackets, I've got a quadratic. x squared minus 8x plus 16 minus 4 equals 0. Simplify that. x squared minus 8x plus 12 equals 0. And again, a basic how to solve a quadratic, you're going to factorise it. So I've got x minus 6 times x minus 2. So that means x equals 6 and x equals 2. Now, there's an alternative solution to this. You could have then said x minus 4 squared equals 4. You could have taken the square root of each side. So x minus 4 equals the square root of 4. So x minus 4 equals plus or minus 2. Now that's a little subtlety. subtlety. Remember, when you take the square root, there's two solutions, the positive version and the negative version, because plus 2 squared is 4, but also minus 2 squared is 4. So that gives me two answers. I'm going to have x equals 6 or x equals 2. Okay, because 6 minus 4 is 2. And 2 minus 4 is minus 2, so there's two answers. Now both ways are valid. It just depends which way you're more comfortable with. One more example. Looks a bit complicated, but if we just apply our rules of logs, we'll be fine. So example 4. Solve log 4x plus 3 to the base 11 minus log 2x minus 3 to the base 11 equals 1. So I'm looking for this number x. Find the rules of logs. Okay, when I divide, so when I'm subtracting two logs, we need to divide the terms. So I've got log 4x plus 3 divided by 2x minus 3 to the base 11 equals 1. Okay, and if you think about it, 4x plus 3 divided by 2x minus 3 must equal x to the power of 1, which is just, sorry, 11 to the power of 1, which is just 11. Okay. Now you've got that, how are you going to solve it? You're going to cross multiply, that would be a good idea. So you're going to cross multiply and solve. So 11 times 2x minus 3 equals 4x plus 3. So multiply out your brackets. 22x minus 33 equals 4x plus 3. x is on the left, numbers on the right. So I've got 18x equals 36. And then simplify, x equals 2. That's a bit more complicated. Okay, now it's time to go over and do them on your own. So try these on your own. All you have to do is simplify as far as you can go, applying your three rules of logs, and then try and evaluate. You're going to pause me just now, give it your best shot, and when you've got an answer, come back and double check. Right, pausing now. Right, hopefully you've managed how to do these, you've looked over your notes, now time to look at the answers. Now, I'm not going to read all that out to you, it'll take me too long, but you can pause this just now, go through step by step, how many steps have you got in your notes, can you find a mistake if you've made one, can you locate it and correct it. Okay, so read through very carefully, check your answers, any problems, see your teacher as soon as possible, or get onto Edmodo and send me a little note. Okay, you can pause just now, otherwise I'm going to move on. So as always, it's open now for you to self-assess your project progress, red, amber or green. How did you do? If you'd like extra help with this or a little bit more practice, why don't you go to page 296, exercise 15F, just question 1 and see how you get on with that. So what have we learned today? Well, you've learned how to solve logarithm equations. Using the rules of logs, same as the last time, you simplify the equations applying one or two rules, different rules. Remember logs on both sides can cancel out. Look out for quadratics to solve. 